Hello, this is Chris, technical leader within the Customer Experience Centers. And in this video, I will discuss how to troubleshoot FIB hardware resource exhaustion on Catalyst 9000 series switches. Specifically, I will discuss what it means and the conditions that must be present in order to generate the error failed to allocate hardware resource for FIB entry due to hardware resource exhaustion. I will also discuss methods to potentially resolve this problem. If you actively see this error, start with the appropriate command to look at the current TCAM utilization of the switch. Note, commands in this video may vary slightly by use of the term active or switch active, which is dependent on the model of CAT9K in use. This sample output demonstrates that one of the smaller routing TCAM banks is at over 99% utilization. And although this is the cause of the FIB error, the primary issue is likely that the EM LPM route bank immediately above it was actually overutilized, which then caused the smaller route table bank to be fully consumed and trigger the error. EM LPM represents the extended match and longest prefix match TCAM banks, which are used to store the majority of the route table entries. To understand how this bank was exhausted while at around 71% utilization, you must first understand how the TCAM is carved up. Assume this large blue square represents the total unallocated TCAM memory used by the switch. If a new slash 24 route entry is learned by the switch, this route must be installed into hardware by use of the TCAM memory. Because this is the first slash 24 route to be learned, a chunk of unallocated TCAM is carved off to hold this and any future slash 24 routes that can be learned. Up to 2048 unique entries that share the same subnet mask length are added to a single block. If a new route of a different mask length is learned, regardless of how full or empty the current TCAM banks are, a new area of TCAM is carved off to hold the routes that match this new mask length. This process continues for as long as there is space in the TCAM, at which point, once no new banks can be created, routes of any mask length fall into the overflow bank, also known as the smaller routing TCAM bank. While this entire process is automatic for any switch that learns routes, there are some important rules you should know as an administrator. This dynamic bank creation process is automatic and cannot be changed or modified by the user. Each bank carved for a given set of routes is exactly 2048 entries. And if the number of routes that share a common mask length exceeds 2048, Additional banks are reserved in additional 2048 entry chunks. Finally, route entries of a different mask length can only coexist in the TCAM subtype and cannot be shared in the EM LPM subtype. We can get a sense of how many unique mask lengths are in use by the switch by use of the IP route summary command seen on the screen. The first column represents the total number of unique subnet mask entries in use by the switch. The second column shows the number of routes learned with that mask length. This example output has many entries with only 12 routes learned, which would leave 2036 entries free for every instance of 12 installed. The global TCAM utilization counts this as free entries, despite the mask length restriction. And this is how the EM LPM TCAM can become exhausted despite utilization that is less than 100%. If you experience this problem, know that this represents a capacity limitation of the switch, and there are a few possible solutions to work within those boundaries. Note, Dependent on the conditions unique to your environment, these solutions are not guaranteed to resolve the problem. First, changes to your route design to reduce the number of unique mask lengths so routes are more efficiently installed in TCAM 
can reduce the overall utilization of additional banks. Second, some environments have large numbers of directly connected hosts, which are often only active for a short period of time. Reduction of the ARP timers from the default of 4 hours down to 15 or 30 minutes can lower the current number of active directly connected routes, which reduces utilization. Finally, you can also modify your SDM template. Use the command show SDM prefer. You can see the current template in use in the first few lines of output. The command show SDM prefer with a question mark allows you to see other templates available and you can print their capacity numbers for different TCAM banks. A move from a template with a lower route capacity to a higher capacity can offer enough TCAM room to not require any additional changes. Note, this configuration change does require a reload of the switch to take effect. If none of the options mentioned in this video are applicable, migration to hardware with a higher route learning capacity is required. This concludes this video. Thank you for the time you took to watch it.